So the role uh, of citizen journalist and uh, you know professional journalist, I think, uh, is is a uh, is a very complementary role. Uh, some look at it as being quite competitive. I don't believe citizen journalists uh, are doing the job uh, of uh, professional journalists. I think for a, gr a good news product, you need uh, you need both sides. You need a citizen journalist who's on the ground, uh, who's recording and preparing uh, content. Now, because there's so much of that content uh, in existence online, uh, traditional journalists, professional journalists need to come and uh, you know research the story properly, uh, have all the facts, and then use uh, the content provided by the citizen journal journalist to uh, enhance and you know complement uh, that uh, coverage, um, and you know that news report uh, that's then produced also helps citizen journalists themselves to produce even more content and you know they learn a lot from that process it's very two way it's back and forth back and forth so i think the role is quite complementary the most recent example is uh, not the arab spring example it's how we used uh, uh, you know citizen journalists we used social media uh, you know in 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 our reporting was for uh, a project we did around the coney 2012 video uh, you know that video was released on social media, so uh, uh, it, it went viral, and we were able to then you know add to the hype that that video caused by giving Ugandans a voice. And uh, it was a, it was a, you know a, 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 uh, this process of uh, us uh, getting voices from the ground uh, through Twitter, uh, through SMS campaign, building that content that came through into our reporting again. And then giving it back to the audience, and then uh, you know from that process, uh, uh, there were uh, other events that took off. For example, this group of uh, Ugandans who started a website, UgandaSpeaks.com. Uh, so we sent a uh, you know a camera and reporter to go and uh, cover their story as well. So basically, to go and cover them, covering uh, uh, the story in northern Uganda. So that's one you know good recent example of how. Uh, the, the, the space that journalists are working in is changing all the time. You know, previously it was you cover a story one uh, one dimensional, you'd uh, just you know present it to the audience. Uh, these days it's, it's it's a lot of back and fro, back and fro, and uh, you know, uh, it's not the way it was. And I think in the future.